Hello and welcome to how to turn your borehole data into a complete exploratory 3D model in three easy steps. In this video, we will be exploring subsurface geology using voxel layers and identifying a cold mineral body hiding below the surface. I've already started by isolating my area of interest and adding the borehole data to my local scene. The borehole layer needs to be a point layer and also have an X, Y, and Z coordinate. I have also symbolized my layer based on material type and assigned a number to each unique material type that we will use throughout the workflow. Now, let's get started. Step one, we will interpolate the borehole data using the empirical basin creaking 3D tool. This is a geostatistical interpolation tool that will predict the material types found between the boreholes. It's going to fill in the gaps. Now, because we are using categorical data, I am going to set the parameters to mimic a nearest neighbor interpolation. Once the layer is added into the local scene, if it doesn't line up exactly with your data, that's all right. You can set the elevation properties to match your borehole data. Now we have a collection of horizontal slices that show the geological properties at a specific depth. And we can use this range slider to jump between the different elevations. Step two, we will be combining the 3D geostatistical layers to create a voxel layer. This is done using the GA layer 3D to NetCDF tool. I am going to use the defaults. If you'd like a smaller 3D volumetric cube at the end of your analysis, you can absolutely adjust the X, Y, and elevation spacing. Once the tool is completed, the voxel layer is not automatically added to the local scene. We will need to add it ourselves as a multi-dimensional voxel layer. And again, because we are working with categorical data, we will choose the data type discrete. If your voxel layer doesn't line up with your other data, you can change the elevation settings within the layer properties. Now we have it, a complete 3D exploratory model of the subsurface geology. But how do we find the gold mineral body within this? Well, that takes us to step three. Step three, we're going to isolate the gold mineral body using symbology. The voxel layer is symbolized using unique values where the numbers correlate with the material types, similar to the borehole data. Number 16 is assigned to gold. To isolate the gold mineral body, I will update the symbology where only cubes that have been assigned the number 16 are visible. Now we have an idea of where the gold mineral body is located below the Earth's surface and have a 3D exploratory model that we can share throughout our organization. 